Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the new Google Earth features in TPC Desktop 2016. I've opened a sample file called Learn KML, and I've shaded in some of the lots here. So this shading might represent uh, different phases of the uh, project. It might uh, represent different ownership, kind of like you do a, a GIS for some graphical information here. And I want to show this in Google Earth as an exhibit. So I'm going to tell Traverse PC that I want to export this. So I go to File Export. I've selected the uh, Google KMZ. You can also do the KML. And I'm going to change some settings here real quickly. And I'm going to tell it I don't want to necessarily show all these labels. I pretty much want to focus on these fills. So I've turned a lot of the labeling off just temporarily here. And I've set the uh, opacity of the fills to about 50%. It's kind of your preference. Let's take a look at what we get with 50%, and then you can make them darker or lighter in Google Earth. Finally, I'm going to tell Traverse BC what I want to export. I want just this current drawing that's open, the plat page one. Let's go ahead and export that. I just did that a moment ago with some other settings. So it's exported the 28 traverses and one layer with some um, objects on it. Let's go ahead and preview that. And uh, Google Earth says, do you want to load this new file? We're going to say yes. And let's come in and zoom in on this area. And you can see that um, we sent over each of these lots, lots 1 through 15, uh, the common area in here, the uh, right-of-ways, the roads. And uh, we labeled each lot. But uh, what we're focusing on here are the fills. So these are the same colors that we used inside Traverse PC that got sent over as uh, fills in the uh, Google Earth file. Now let's expand our, our folder over here, and we're going to go to the Traverses, and let's take a look at this Lot 2 fill right here. Let's expand that, and we see that here's the Lot 2 fill. We can turn that off. Sometimes I like to do that, um, like for my roadway here. Here's the private road. I'm going to just turn that off so I can actually see the pavement underneath there. And I'll leave the fills in on the other, other uh, lots and common areas. So it's a great way to get fill information over from Traverse BC to Google Earth. And then I can work with those fills uh, once I'm in Google Earth to turn them on or off as I need to.